What's up, y'all? We having fish today. It's Friday. You know how I do on Fridays. I try to do fish on Fridays, man. But I have to go to the store, get some ingredients, get some seasoning to go with it. So it can have a nice little taste. I ain't got no lamb. I'm going to try lamb this time. I haven't tried, like, the lamb squirt on there. I'm going to try. That's what the fun thing about cooking. You can just try. So I'm about to run to the grocery store and uh, get back with this meal right here. I'm trying to decide do I want potatoes, or fries, or wedges with it, coleslaw, I'll probably do both. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Here we go, thanks to the mask. Gotta get the gloves, big COVID-19 going on. Let me show you how I need it in the fire. first video watching on my page are you new to my youtube channel i don't have a particular um i guess topic or content that i'll be distributing it's just me recording my life and i'm gonna make sure that i keep recording my life so my kids can watch it and play it back if anything ever happened to me it might be interesting to watch it and play it all back like a playbook God forbid, you know, I think something is just in case. I actually was vlogging in 2010, I believe, 11, on YouTube before it was a thing. That's why I said I used to carry my camera around. I used to be the only one recording in the club, in the mall, wherever I went, I would be recording. Just before Instagram. Really like right after the MySpace, beginning of Facebook era. And you really couldn't record videos. So when I got on YouTube and realized I could just start recording on YouTube, I started doing it. Million Dollar Miz, M-I-L-L-I-O-N-D-O-L-L-A-M-I-Z. That's what I, that's what my old YouTube channel was. In case you want to go watch that and see what I was doing <laughs> in 2011. And seeing me and my family, we on that. Like I said, I used to just vlog just to, so we can go back on it and look one day. And be like, man, look at that, look at that. So yeah, I just have to say that. Warm today. Turn this down. I might just roll up. I don't like riding with the window. 
sun goes down, you smell like outside. I just got out of the shower. Smell like Christian Dior. Roll the windows down and ride for five minutes. Just smell like you've been playing basketball in the alley with the boy, with your boys. I'm, I'm gonna try and see if I can record in the store, see if I'm comfortable with it. Let's see, man. Let's see. You gotta conquer your fears. You know what I'm saying? You gotta conquer your fears, man. So that's what I'm gonna see. I'm gonna, we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I just went to Kroger's, man. They got a line. Because you know, with the social distancing going on, they got a line out past half the block. Got to be six feet. It really ain't that it's a lot of people. Actually, it is about 20 people. But you got to put that six feet in between there. So you do that. Stretch it all the way out. I'm try to go to another store. See if I can uh, have some better luck. Oh. If I have some better luck.
vegetables out that I got I was watching I got the roasted red potatoes carrots zucchinis and onions I got my season for my fish I put some of the lemon pepper in the pan squeezed a little bit of the lime in there that way the flavor can be on go all the way through the fish on both sides let me know in the comment section if you got any uh, ideas of how to get the seasoning on both sides of the meat that you're preparing. See, I haven't seasoned my meat yet, the fish yet. What I'll do is put it in here. Once I get the fish in there, then I'll season the top of it. And then I have seasoning in the bottom, too. You don't want to do too much, though. So, yeah, let me get to doing that with this camera. Let me show y'all what kind of fish that season I'm using. Set on 400 already. Ready to go. Now I'm just gonna season this fish. So I got some of the lamb for your tea. And uh, with some lemon pepper. So both sides of the fish have some good season. Just to add to the whole lamb situation, you don't need that much. You got lamb already. I'm gonna put a little lemon pepper in there too. Lemon and lamb zing I'm looking for. Bit of 
season or something. A little bit. I ain't big on salt. Just a little bit. I'm gonna file back on the pepper. Because it's pepper in there with the lemon pepper. So you ain't gotta do that. You come across with your lemon. I'm still trying to get some juice out of this one. Better than the lime juice that comes in the little squeeze, squeeze bottle. I try to do everything natural if I can do it natural. Nice and seasoned. See that? Then we're gonna slap it in the oven. Put my vegetables in there later. I'll do that later. Put the vegetables in there a little bit later. Like my mother was saying, you do it like a roast. You get your meat done first, then you do your vegetables. So, yeah, we're gonna get this in the oven. Oven on four. We'll probably get it. Check it out. Get it out in a minute. 